Sony's new smartphones launching at MWC 2017 are armed with some new camera hardware, with both the Xperia XC Premium and the Xperia XCS picking up what Sony calls its Motion Eye Camera. The 19 megapixel shooter offers a sort of niceties we know to expect from past Sony cameras, like its 5 axis electronic stabilization, and by moving from 23 megapixels down to 19 megapixels while sticking with the same 1 over 2.3 inch sensor size, the company manages to improve light sensitivity always a plus. That's all well and good, but the feature Sony's hyping the most for the Motion Eye is its memory stacked sensor, which allows the camera to directly store image data before passing it along to the rest of the phone. That allows Motion Eye to avoid memory bottlenecks that would otherwise result from moving lots of image data really fast. And just why would you want to do something like that? Well, all that on-sensor memory lets the Motion Eye shoot at an insanely high frame rate. We're talking 960 frames per second, or 32 times as fast as regular video. And when you play that video back at standard frame rates, you get some really impressive slow-mo shots. At least, that's the promise. Does using the Motion Eye to film in slow-mo really hold up? Let's take a look. Sony's camera interface lets you tap into the slow motion mode in a variety of ways. You can record a regular speed video, and then press an on-screen button to capture a short burst of slow motion right in the middle. Or you can tap into a one-shot mode that only records a brief slow motion moment, nothing before and nothing after. But when you're recording at 960 frames a second, even the Motion Eye's on-camera memory fills up fast, and you have a blink and you'll miss it chance to film the moment you're trying to capture in ultra slow-mo. If you need a little more leeway, a much more typical 120 frame per second mode lets you record far longer periods of slow motion, but that's not nearly as interesting looking. Beyond that important temporal constraint, there are other technical issues worth being aware of with the Motion Eye slow mo. While both the Xperia XC Premium and the XES can shoot 4K video, you're not going to come anywhere close to that resolution when filming at 960 FPS, and super slow mo recording occurs at a max of 720x1280 resolution. And as shouldn't surprise anyone with even a passing knowledge of photography, when you're shooting this fast, there's not a lot of time in each frame to sample incoming light, so you're going to need a really bright environment for best results. Settings that otherwise show up on video just fine when recording at standard frame rates become grainy, splotchy messes at 960 FPS. Perhaps as a side effect of this, we also had more than a little trouble keeping sharp focus when doing slow-mo. Distant subjects fared much better than really close-up macro objects, but nothing looked extremely crisp. For all this naysaying, when it works, Sony's Motion Eye slow-mo can look really, really cool, exposing moments that would otherwise pass you right by without further consideration. It lets you look at your world in a way you probably wouldn't have been able to before, and having the power to do that right at your disposal whenever you wish to access it is pretty incredible. Before passing final judgment, we're going to want to play with the Motion Eye camera outside, where there's plenty of light to help with exposure, and get a little more practice timing our slow-mo shots, because one second too early or too late, and you're going to miss the action. But there's definitely a lot of potential here. I'm Steven Shank with Phone Arena. Thanks for watching, and hit that subscribe button to make sure you catch all our MWC 2017 coverage.